Hi, this is Scott Wimpy, Director of First Aid, Accident and Emergency. Did you know over 50,000 people every year die from a heart attack in Australia? Would you know what to do? This is Doctors ABCD the movie, and it could very well save someone's life in this situation. heart's racing. You've never seen this before. You're panicking on the inside and for me to say that you're going to stay calm, I'm overstating it. Can you do what you need to do in the first 10 minutes to save Chef? You will learn simple tips like not checking a pulse for alive or dead. Simply check breathing. If there is no breathing present, patient is clinically dead and you need to make a call and start CPR as quickly as you can. In the moments after an arrest, the heart is either in VT or VF. It's quivering and shaking and dying at over a million cells a second. You need to perfuse the heart, which means to pump blood around the body to stop the cell death. Now starting with compressions will start to build blood pressure and perfuse the heart and brain of its vitally starved blood and oxygen. You don't have to give breaths and compressions if you're not comfortable. Compressions only will do quite well as oxygen will stay in the blood for four to six minutes after an arrest. Sooner or later though, we do advise that someone starts giving breaths and compressions. Now the average response time for an ambulance in a built up area in Australia is between 6 to 12 minutes. You're going to have to settle into a really good rhythm, call for help and ensure that you do not stop compressions for more than 10 seconds. Very important that you also remember that the paramedics have a job to do too. They're going to need to know what happened and what you've been doing and how long you've been doing it for. Please assist them with everything you can and give them a hand if they need to either move a patient or move gear so they can have a clear access point to the patient. Now it's time to let the paramedics do their job. They know what's going on. They've done this before. They know that they need to get a defibrillator onto this patient pronto because they will understand that if they are not breathing, then the heart is fibrillating in VT or VF. Let them do their job and give them a hand and stay out of their way. It's also very important to let you know that the heart will only fibrillate in VT or VF for approximately 10 minutes before it goes into a non-shockable rhythm, asystole. That means that the defibrillator will not work. In fact, not much will work at this situation. You need a defib in 10 minutes. You may also require for your job to learn advanced resuscitation techniques. This includes advanced airway management, oxygen, defibrillation and some other basic advanced procedures. This is a great course to know if you're working around water, in the fireys, in the services of any sort. Watch and learn.
salir. Lucas, stop! 